Welcome back to EV Swap. You can see we have another vehicle here. This is a 1998 Nissan Frontier. It's a little mini truck, pickup truck. And this is going to be my very first customer conversion. A gentleman named Dave is having me convert this to full EV using parts from a Nissan Leaf. I think it's going to be a super cool project. Let me show you around the truck a little bit. So this is a 98. They don't make trucks like this anymore. It's tiny, itty bitty. I think uh, the factory curb weight is around 2,900 pounds, but when I was towing it on my trailer, I barely even felt the weight. It's super light. It already has the motor removed and the transmission, the drive shaft already removed, the gas tank, the exhaust, all that stuff is already removed because um, back, I think around 2010, 13 years ago, the owner wanted to convert this to electric but back then the technology was not where it is today. Um, he stalled out a couple times on the project and it's just been sitting since. So the paint was done by a high school auto body shop. Uh, they did it as a school project and the paint actually looks really good even though it's just been sitting. Also, the bed on the back has a tilt fun function that the high schoolers did. So the whole bed tilts up like that. Um, unfortunately, it's full of stuff as you can see and it's really heavy. It has no sort of assist or even a latch mechanism. So that's something that we're gonna have to do is put some um, hydraulic struts or something in there to help lift it up and then a latching mechanism to lock it down. But that's gonna be a major help because we're gonna put the batteries underneath the bed in the back for uh, better weight distribution and having the tilt bed is gonna make that really easy. And also we'll be able to show off the batteries. So this truck, I do not know how many miles are on it. It has a digital odometer and the uh, 12 volt battery has long been removed, but it has this cool little bench seat here. It's a five speed manual truck. It's a really bare bones basic vehicle, but you can see it's in pretty good shape. There, the dash isn't cracked. The seats aren't that torn. All the windows are good. So this is gonna be a sweet little ride and like I said it's already had quite a bit of prep for an EV conversion so the motor is is out the transmissions out and there's a little nest over here <laughs> but there's gonna be plenty of space under the hood here for the Nissan Leaf powertrain what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use a Brat Industries adapter plate for the Nissan Leaf motor to the stock five-speed transmission. So that's gonna allow plenty of ratios, you know, five gears to choose from. You probably only use two or three of them on most days, but we'll be able to carry a load with it. The whole bed will still be available to be used to um, carry things, It'd be a practical little work truck. Uh, you can see we have the tr five-speed transmission here. Um, Dave's been collecting parts, so he got a secondary bell housing in case we needed to do any sort of uh, machining and it would just be easier to work on. There's a drive shaft, the tail lights, the bumper and the radiator. So all the parts that we need to put it back together, uh, all we need now is a Nissan Leaf. So it's got this cool black paint job and like I said, it's in pretty good shape considering it's just been sitting out in the sun. And you can see underneath the gas tank, the exhaust, everything's been removed. So we'll probably put the battery on one side or maybe both sides of the drive shaft, depending on how big the battery ends up being. So the owner wants about a hundred miles range out of this truck, which I think it'll be pretty easy to do. Like I said, it's extremely lightweight, um, you know, mid 2000 pound, like 2,500 pounds, I think is uh, probably where it'll end up, maybe 2,900, but below 3,000 pounds, I'm pretty sure. It'll have a good power with the Nissan Leaf motor. That's the same motor that's in my Land Cruiser, and even that big truck scoots along pretty good, so this nice, lightweight, small pickup truck should also go pretty good. Um, we might even get a higher output Leaf, the uh, 140 horsepower version, or the 100 or 212 horsepower. We'll just decide you know, when the time comes to buy a donor vehicle. And 100 miles might be a stretch for a 30 kilowatt hour battery, 
but I think with a 40 kilowatt hour battery, we'll definitely be able to get 100 miles. So there she is. It's a small truck, really small, so it won't take, it won't have a ton of aerodynamic drag. It's two wheel drive, so there will be less drivetrain loss. And um, I'm really excited to get started. Like I said, this is my very first paid EV conversion. So we're gonna make sure we do a really good job and the customer is happy and he has a nice um, functional and totally practical vehicle when we're done. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Let's, uh, I'll show you the process as we build this truck and we'll have another series here on YouTube to show it off. So if you haven't already, please hit subscribe and leave a comment down below. If you have any advice, have you done one of these before? Do you have any tips? Do you have uh, a thing that a feature that you think would be really cool to add to this little pickup truck and uh, maybe we'll include it. Thanks for watching.